Eastern Clinton Central School. It's the fifth day of January 2012, the 14th anniversary of the ice storm of 1998. We're here at Peru Central, temperature at 23 degrees at the JV game time. We're we'll right here at Northeastern Clinton, where Peru Central and the Cougars are playing a little bit of varsity bowling basketball. CBAC action, Paul Spillman and George Dyer are the officials. That is good in the paint by Tim Remillard. It all comes up to Bedard. Rejected with a couple of 
Official Jim Varon and Ron Jim Bruno observing. Rodney Grimshaw trying to penetrate and he draws a whistle. The foul was on Remillard. Grimshaw will shoot two. Sport is it's hollering while the shooter is getting ready. That's that's her. Two two the score. Armstrong into Grimshaw, back to Armstrong. Armstrong, Bedard, Grimshaw, Tavernay, and Manor for the Cougars. Shot comes up short. Lamar comes up with it. But our, uh, excuse me, uh, Armstrong knocks it loose and gets a handle on it. There's Bedard over to Armstrong. Grimshaw will inbound. There's the 11, um, uh, excuse me, uh, Stacy. Hey, Joe Southwick's here. Make room for Joe Southwick. We'll have to use this mic, Joe, until I uh, make my time. That's all right. We just use this in the meantime. No, no, you're good. Here we go. Uh, got here. I just got here. He just got here. Okay. Acclimated. He's getting acclimated to the atmosphere. He's still uh, breathing outdoor air. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, from Peru. All the way from Peru. <laughs> <laughs> I, must have read, I must have read the schedule wrong. Well, I was told that the girls are playing here tomorrow night? I assumed since the girls are playing here that the boys are playing down there. So. Okay, well, they, according to the original schedule, it was vice versa. The boys were here and the girls were there. So apparently they've changed it. I, I look at the Cougar website for my schedule. So maybe the original schedule will set it that way. I'll, I'll email you tomorrow. To, I don't know. I suppose my daughter might know where the game is. She'll get on the bus if it's not here. Right. So I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. But okay. Well, maybe we'll corner in Peru and there was nobody there, so I came here. All right. Well, that's how faithful he is. Left Peru to come here. But according to my schedule, I got off the internet at the uh, Digital Sports Network where Josh Herrica sends all the Cougar. Games. It's uh, Cougars are at Peru tomorrow night, and Peru's here tonight. And apparently, the uh, CBAC schedule had it different. I find out before I leave here because if the girls are here tomorrow night, I'm going to be here. I'm strong. Jumper. And it's a 4-2 Northeastern lead with 5:23 to go in the first quarter. Deflected by Manor and knocked loose and picked up by Peru and three seconds. No. Nope. Top of the circle. Good job by Tavernay to stand there and then go after the ball, stay inside and wait for the ball to come to him. Armstrong over to arms to a uh, to Bedard. Twenty-three. I got to tell you, these uh, Hunter Bruno, these dark numbers, uh, and a dark shirt, uh, a little tough to pick up through the camera. Armstrong with the ball, run up by Grimshaw, pulled down by Remillard, and the Indians race it down the floor. Travel called. On number 11, Casey, Connor Casey. Timeout, Cougars 4 2, they lead 4 14, showing in the first. Grimshaw into Armstrong. And Armstrong will stop and throw up a tray. 
rebounded by Peru. That was 21, I guess. Uh, Barrett. Or was it 11? No, it's 21. Fouls on Bedard, Remillard at the line. Rebound Manor. This is Armstrong. And Bedard. Spins. And drop from behind by Holdridge. Out of bounds with the white ball. I mean, yes, white ball. Hey, there's a handy fellow. Really proud as punch there to be able to help out. <laughs> that made his day. Bedard for three. Yes, um, Bedard. And Bedard misses the layup on the fast break. This is Armstrong with the ball, 3-0-3 to go in the first quarter. Seven to two, Northeastern. Wide open. Oh, Dremelard, nice job of finding him. And it's 7-4. Bernard makes it 9-4. Foul. Was on Boyer. Cougars take it away. Here's Bedard looking down the floor, dribbling with his head up. Armstrong, the short jumper. Armstrong, MVP in the soccer league this year. Quite an honor for a defenseman. The inbounded by Bruno. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Incidental contact. I'm not sure what the conversation was about. Armstrong. Bedard finds Tavernay. Too strong. Manor is there. And Manor with the back foot. Mike Manor. 11 4 Northeastern. my problem. I cannot uh, make out the numbers through the camera. I can tell we're looking outside of the camera. But, uh, outside uh, outside the camera I can tell who the numbers are, what the numbers are, but uh, looking through the viewer here I can't always pick up the numbers easily. We've got uh, Austin Tatro in. I'm talking about the crew with their black shirts and uh, Blue numbers with a white trim. Fifty-two seconds to go in the uh, of the travel in the first quarter. Bedard. 
the man are. And then Habit, it was uh, Seventeen seconds. We're trying to figure out who was fifty. It was a uh, Boyer who knocked that ball loose at the other end. And Boyer put that one in. It's eleven six. Four seconds to go. It was up by five at the end of one here on viewer supported hometown cable. Hard here to get uh, Joe. Uh, the uh, microphones with Joe set up here. We haven't worked together in a couple of weeks, and the microphones have tangled themselves up in a impenetrable maze of uh, spaghetti. So ends the uh, entertaining portion of the uh, broadcast, and now you're stuck with me for the rest of the game. One minute into the uh, second quarter here at Northeastern Clinton Central School, Mike Manor draws a foul and will be at the line to shoot too. First one's a little bit too strong. So. Cougars with a three-point lead here, one minute into the uh, second quarter. That one also too strong. And Boyer with the rebound. This is Bruno with it. Apologize for uh, showing up a little late here. I misread the schedule. And this is Remillard. Does a nice job of driving the lane. There's Boyer with a good hustle play, but knocks it out of bounds, and we go over to the Cougars. Tatro breaks the press. Indians in a man-to-man uh, -man defense. The young Tatro is off for Grimshaw. Here's Bedard. Gets that ball blocked away by uh, Holdridge. Here comes Holdridge the other way. He drives the lane, draws a crowd. Boyer with a nice rebound, and he draws the foul. Michael Holdridge with a uh, good athletic play at the other end to block that shot and uh, bring it down the other end. But had to get through three Cougars and uh, Boyer does a nice job of coming through and grabbing the rebound and draws the foul. His first shot's up, a little bit too strong. I don't know if I'll be completely accurate on the scoring because I missed the first two buckets. Halftime, I'll see if I can't get caught up for you. Boy, the second one's in, and we got a substitution. Number 33 is uh, McKenzie uh, McCutcheon checks in for the Indians, and we got a timeout on the floor. So with 6.19 to play here in the first half, the Cougars with a uh, two-point lead, 11-9.
All right, out of the timeout. Cougars will inbound against the uh, home court pressure here for the uh, Indians. Grimshaw gets past that. Up for Tavernier. Tavernier, nice play in there. Puts the lead back up to four. Rodney Grimshaw with a nice move to uh, get by the press. And there's a steal, but Holdridge is back in time to pick it up. And the Indians come away with it. There's a three-point effort by uh, Casey that comes up short. Tavernier with a nice rebound. And here comes the Cougars on the run. Here's Tatro. He drives the lane, draws the crowd, and uh, he's going to go to the line. That foul is going to be on a Holdridge. Maybe his second. Two in a row here, and Austin Tatro will be at the line to shoot two. First one is up and good. And second one's on its way, and that one's good. So the youngster knocks down two free throws. Get himself in the scoring action. This is Bruno with it at the top of the key. And he set up the uh, offense against the 3-2 uh, zone that we often see from the Cougars. As Bruno drives the lane, kicks it off for Casey. His three-point effort's a little bit short. And then gets, or, uh, Bedard, I'm sorry, gets up for the rebound, and uh, he draws the foul. And that's uh, only 16 fouls on the Indian, so... We will move on. Fouls on number 44, Remillard. That's his second. So again, the team, uh, both teams are in a bonus. So. Petro dribbles out of the corner. with Bedard. He's looking for something inside. It's a man-to-man -man defense. Here's Grimshaw. He drives the lane, lays one off the glass a little bit too hard. Remillard comes down with the rebound, and... The Indians will push it up the court. Here's Bruno. Casey. Casey off for uh, catching. Nice little reverse job, but man ordered a nice rebound there. Bedard brings it across the timeline, gives it over for Grimshaw. Grimshaw in for Tavernier. Tavernier against the Remillard. A little bit too hard against the glass, but here's Bedard for three. That one's a little bit too strong. It's in the corner. And it's saved, but uh, we got a timeout on the floor. So with 4.15 to play here in the first half, Cougars with a six-point lead. A 5-0 run at this point. 6-0 run. It's a 15-9 lead. All right. Just over four minutes to play here in the first half. Indians with the ball, trailing by six. And there's a long cross-court pass that's uh, broken up by uh, Bedard. And uh, pretty heads-up play there, but he gets swatted out of bounds by Holdridge. Not sure what he was thinking there, but it was a loose ball. Should have just grabbed it. Anyway, the Cougars end up with it. Tatro looking inbound, and he throws the ball away. And the catch him, and a nice feed from uh, Holdred, uh, from Casey. So uh, the Indians convert on the turnover and cut the, uh, cut the deficit, deficit to four with three and a half to go here. And that, well, that was saved by Tatro, but it looked like that was going to be a turnover. But. Austin Tatro saves that one, and that one gets touched by, uh, by Boyer underneath, so the Cougars will retain the ball. 16 on the shot clock. Bedard gets his defender off his feet, lays one off the glass, a little bit too strong. Ball comes down, and uh, McCutcheon with a nice strong rebound here. Here come the Indians. Chance to uh, Dig into that lead a little bit. Here's Bruno with an open three, but that's a little bit too strong. Boyer with a nice rebound. Puts it back and lays it in. Three points for uh, Brett Boyer here in the uh, late going of the first half. 
Takes her trapped and draws the foul. Uh, put the youngster on the line to shoot one and one. And the Indians with a little scouting report knowing that uh, Tatro's the freshman. When he gets his hands on the ball, they double team him in the corner to trap and uh, showed some good composure there and knocks down the front end of the one and one to boot. So off the bench comes uh, number 10, Nick Damaris, and uh, Bruno will sit. Just under three minutes to play here in the first half. Tatro knocks down the second one. So Holdridge will sit with his uh, third foul here just in the uh, first half. Uh, number 35, Taylor Rock will check in to take his place. And Gershaw almost picks that one off, but here come the Indians. And once again, they got it on the perimeter. There's Casey for a three. That was long. Tatro tracks down the long rebound. Over for Bernard. Picks up a shot, a little bit too strong. Cavernier has his hands on it. Gershaw comes away with a loose ball and he pulls it out. They're a fresh 35, so be wise to take their time working something decent here. Gershaw drives the lane and looks like a pretty good block, but uh, a little foul on the play. Rodney Grishow will be at the line to shoot two. First one is uh, up and good. And into the game for the uh, Indians is Alex Barrett, number 21. Shot second one is up and right over the front rim. So. He's got at least two. Like I said, he missed the first bucket, so we we'll catch you up with that during halftime. The Indians trailing by six, two minutes to go here in the first half. That one gets knocked away by Grimshaw, but uh, at least he's able to track it down. Coach Clemens with mostly uh, bench players in right now, but Boyer's able to bank one in off the glass. Gives him five. Lead all scorers on the Indian side. Here's Bedard. Gets it over for uh, Petro. Back for Bedard. He uh, dribbles around his defender and he draws the foul. 35 fouls on uh, Taylor Rock. And uh, that'll put Bedard on the line to shoot one and one. A little aggressive on their man-to-man uh, -man defense, and uh, Bernard is able to uh, turn that into a foul. Converts on his first one, gives them a uh, five-point lead. The Cougars, that is. And the second one's up and good. I got seven points for Tom Bernard. Casey, inside for uh, McKetchen. That was a little strong. Grimshaw huh? makes a nice defensive play there, but uh, can't catch up with the ball out of bounds. Indians will reset. 15 on the shot clock. Here's McKetchen inside. He's triple team there. Kicks it out. That was a little bit strong. And loose ball there, but the Indians gain control. So they'll get a fresh 35 and another look at trying to cut into that lead a little bit. We're under a minute to play here in the first half. That tries to get inside from the kitchen. That's nice, nice feed inside for Boyer, but he can't uh, finish. And here come the Cougars. They throw back for Bedard. Bedard 
looking for Grusha. We got about a seven or eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. So here's Tatro drives the line, puts up a prayer, and looks like it's going to stay here with the uh, Cougars. So give us a fresh 35 and 21.8 on the clock. I don't know if we're going to look at the shot clock or not. And it's going to stay. So oh, we're back to 14 seconds. So again, we just need to get a shot off here. Got it. And the shot clock is down to 10. And that's going to be a, a wisest foul on uh, Connor Casey as he uh, digs in on the aggressive defense. But uh, once again, it's going to put the uh, combat art on the line. And this time they're in a double bonus, so he'll get two shots. 13.7 on the clock and a six point lead. But yes. Art makes good on the first. Second one's on its way and that one's good. Tom Bedard with nine points here in the first half. Indians with a chance for the last shot. Casey, gonna get out for Bruno. Back for Casey. That's for Bruno. Bruno's gonna chuck up the three. It's gonna come up short and that'll end the first half. So after 16 minutes of play here in Northeastern Clinton Central School, it's the Cougars 23, the visiting Indians of Peru Central School 15. Okay, folks. We are back at it for the second half of action. CVAC Division I matchup between the uh, host Cougars of Northeastern Clinton and the visiting Indians of Peru Central School. Cougars. With a, uh, an eight-point lead coming into the third quarter and the ball here to start things off. Here's Tom Bernard from outside and he knocks down a triple. His second of the night. Give him 12 points to uh, lead all scores. I'll give you a little scoring recap now that I got all caught up after the uh, my tardiness coming in. Here's Boyer on the inside. He shot one goal. Ball's on the floor. We get it tied up, and uh, the Indians will get that on the alternating possession. So for the Cougars in the first half, um, like I said, Tom Bedard with nine points to uh, lead all scorers. Uh, Mike Manor and Austin Tatro each with four. And uh, Harley Tavernier, Rodney Grimshaw, and Rob Armstrong each with a uh, bucket apiece to round out the scoring for the Cougars. On the Indian side, uh, Brett Boyer had the uh, hot hand with seven points, followed by Tim Rimmelard with four. There's a uh, Hunter Bruno with a nice defensive play there, but Armstrong gets the ball back. So he's getting inside for Bedard, he gets shut out. And he says, stuff that one in for Bedard, but the ball gets kicked. Uh, we should get 15 seconds. Yeah, we get 15 on the shot clock. And down to Armstrong. Again, the uh, Indians in a man-to-man -man defense. Number five on the shot clock. Armstrong going to put one up. Gets the butter and uh, still in play. Remillard with the long rebound. So here come the Indians. Pushing it back the other way. Bruno cuts the lane. And that'll go off of Tavernier's foot and it'll stay with the Indians. Uh, running up the scoring in the first half for the Indians. So, uh, like I said, Boyer with seven, Remillard with four. Taylor Rock and Mike Holdridge each with two. And ball's out of bounds, so Cougars will take over on the turnover. Pretty quiet second half so, or third quarter here so far. Now we got a timeout on the floor. So 608 to play here in the third quarter. Cougars 26. The Indians 15. 
Okay, and a timeout. Cougars will inbound. Once again, the uh, Indians with some pressure on the uh, inbounds, but then they drop into a half court man to man. Here's Bedard. Penetrates. Nice dish off for Manor. And Manor finishes and draws the foul. Uh, and it's going to go against Tom Bedard. So the basket gets taken off the board, and Bedard's going to draw his third foul on a uh, player control foul. Uh, unpopular call. And yeah, that was the call. So there's a nice block by Manor. Gets, his, gets the uh, rebound. And Armstrong in the lane, a little loose, but Tavernier puts it up. Holdridge comes down with a the rebound. Here's a long pass up for Casey. Casey to Remillard. Remillard with a left hand finish. Good fast break there for the uh, for the Indians. Here's Bedard penetrates, gets it blocked from behind. And we got a foul on the play. And the foul is going to go against uh, Holdridge. I believe that's four on him, if I'm not mistaken. He had three in the first half. But the uh, foul is going to be called on the floor. As the foul occurred while uh, Bedard was driving the lane. A little discussion on the uh, on the court by uh, referees. I suspected that's four on uh, Mike Holdridge. He's going to have to uh, hit the pine here with just uh, five minutes to or three, just under three minutes gone here in the second half. So Coach Clemens is going to be without, uh, without Mike Holdridge for the next little while. Here's uh, Armstrong throws up a uh, thing off balance. But Tom Bedard works hard and gets that offensive rebound and he draws a foul. It looks like that's going to go against uh, Tim Remillard. Put Tom Bedard on the... Uh, that's three on Remillard, so... Uh, Indians with a little bit of foul trouble here, cruising into the second half. Holdridge already on the bench, and Remillard with three. I'm not sure Clemens is the coach. Clemens is going to keep him in there all that long. He's the uh, really the only force they have inside, um, besides Boyer. And Bedard misses... Both free throws. And Bishai gets his finger on that one, but didn't quite come up with it. Kevin really gets the steal there. And Bernard comes away with it. Bedard. Grimshaw pulls up. And, and an air ball, so it'll go over to the uh, the Indians. in the corner and it's going to go over to the Indians. Inside for Boyer. Boyer turns around a little too strong. Mike Manor with the rebound. Gives it over for Armstrong and he'll come up the other way. Ball's on the floor, Bedard fights hard for it. Now he's double teamed. Gets through that. 
There's the pass one in for Tavernier, but it gets knocked out of bounds. Nice hustle play there by Tim Remillard. 3.38 to play here in the third quarter. Grimshaw drives the lane, kisses one off the glass, a little too strong. Manor comes down with it, but it's stolen away by uh, Rock. And the Indians with the ball. Here's Remillard, he squares up, that one's short. Rebounded by Rock, but the ball is loose, and uh, we get a held ball. So. Cougars will take over that on the alternating position. Takes it in and on the steal and draws the foul. So he'll be at the line to uh, shoot one here. See if he can draw his team within eight. They're being down by 11. It is foul shots up. A little bit too strong, bounces around. Harley Tavernier comes down with the rebound. Here's Bedard, back out for Armstrong. Bedard, off for Tavernier, drives the lane, puts up a this one handed shot, and that one drops in. Four points for uh, Tavernier. Inside from Remillard, and that one's going to go, and a foul. Tim Remillard will be on the line to shoot one here to see if he can't complete the three-point play. His foul shot's up and good. Nine points for Remillard. Inbounds pass gets knocked away. Again, the uh, Indians with full court pressure on the inbound. Armstrong breaks that. Drives through everybody, takes it to the hoop. A little bit too strong. Manor with the rebound and the putback. Nice job by Mike Manor to be in position for that offensive rebound and the putback. So Armstrong does a good job of penetrating. But the shot was a little bit long. Here's a long pass in for, uh, for Boyer underneath, and he draws the foul. So the uh, fouls are piling up here on the Cougars. And Going to put uh, Brett Boyer on the line to shoot two. That one will go against uh, Tavernier, his first. Cougars with a 10 point lead here with uh, just over two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Boyer knocks down the first one. Okay, second one's on its way. That one's strong. Man on with the rebound. Cougars come away with it. Two minutes to go here in the first half, or in the uh, third quarter, I'm sorry. Armstrong drives the lane up against uh, Remillard. Again. Manor with a good strong rebound, but he can't finish. And a foul underneath. It's going to go against uh, Tavernier. He's second here in the last minute or so. Indians will take over, trailing by nine. Bruno. Shot's a little bit short, but a uh, nice rebound by Rock. And the Indians come away with another offensive rebound, and they'll reset. And skips over inside for Boyer. He's triple teamed in there. Manor has the rebound and draws the foul. Again, the Indians will uh, throw that full court pressure at him. Armstrong has the ball. 
Brings it up across the timeline. Looking to penetrate. He loses the handle a little bit and gets it back. Inside for Tavernier. Tavernier spins, puts one up off the short rim. But Manor with a nice offensive rebound and his uh, mid-range jumper rims out. Indians with a nice rebound and here comes Remillard the other way. He makes a nice spin move and goes to the hoop. Draws the foul. Nice play by Tim Remillard. Take that uh, down the baseline, do a little spin move and uh, get rid of some defenders. And Looks like it's going to go against uh, Mike Manor. That'll be his third. Remillard on the line. Knocks the first one down. Got the lead to eight. Or the deficit to eight. Remillard, second one's on its way. And that one's good. Gives him 11 points. Armstrong against the pressure. Ball goes out of bounds and just stay with the Cougars. Armstrong breaks the pressure, knocks it back out. Thinks about the three, gets to the foul line. That one's too strong. Bruno comes away with that rebound. Long pass for Remillard. Nice catch there, but can't finish. Manor with the rebound. Cougars, Cougars with the opportunity for the last shot here. Here's Armstrong. Gives it off for of Bedard. We got about 15 seconds to go here in the quarter. Here's Armstrong, he's uh, double team, and that ball's on the floor. Giving over for Bruno. Bruno back over for uh, McCuffin, and they convert on that. So off the turnover, and uh, the turnover on the uh, double team, they get in a basket to uh, cut their deficit to five after three quarters. So after three quarters of play here in Northeastern Clinton, it's the Cougars 32, the Indians on the way back with 27. with the ball. Trailing by five. A chance to cut that, cut into that deficit here is Remillard underneath. Can't make the uh, reverse go and uh, the ball will go over to the Cougars. Cougars having a little bit of hard time with this uh, full court pressure. Here's Bedard gets it in. It's by his defenders. That's a group shot. Bernard floats the lane. Shot's a little bit too long. And uh, McCutcheon with the rebound. Here's Remillard on the fly. Good shot blocks that one. Nice leaping ability for the uh, youngster. And here's Armstrong floats the lane. Puts up a little bit too strong. That one bounces around. The Indians come back with it. So we've had some... Spirited action here in the first half, uh, first minute of the fourth, fourth quarter. Here's Bruno. Gets it into Remillard. Remillard gets it stolen by Grimshaw. Here comes Grimshaw the other way. He lays one in. So Rodney Grimshaw showing some, uh, some ability at both ends of the court here to uh, start off the fourth quarter and put the Cougars back up by seven. There's a big long three to short. Bedard can't corral the rebound. Remillard comes up with it and 
knocks in the uh, short jumper. We got a uh, stoppage of play here. Hunter Bruno will have to go to the bench for a little bit of medical attention. Tim Remillard gets uh, at least 13 points. I missed a couple there in the uh, third quarter. Sorry about that. Cougars again against the uh, that man to man defense. There's Manor inside. He loses the handle on it, but Bedard comes up with it. Knocks it in. 14 points for uh, Tom Bedard to lead all scorers at this point. Here's Damaris with it. He uh, came in as substitute for Bruno. Bruno's getting ready to check back in after taking care of that uh, medical situation. That one gets tipped, but. Uh, Casey comes out with it. There's Casey. He'll unload on the three. That one rims in and out. The catching tries to get the rebound, but Bedard comes away with a loose ball. It's over for Armstrong. Armstrong pushes it up the floor. Over for Bedard. He'll square her up for three. And that one. Oh, nylon. 17 points for Tom Bedard. He's uh, Lit it up pretty decent here in the second half, and we got a timeout on the floor. So with 5:21 to play in the contest, Cougars push their lead back up to 10, 39-29. Doki out of the timeout. 5.20 to play here in the uh, fourth quarter. Indians with the ball. There's a long pass over for Casey. Back for Bruno. Here's Holdridge. He's back in the contest with the four fouls. Makes nice athletic move there to spin underneath with the uh, turnaround one goal and Manor clears the boards. Cougars some, showing some patience on the outside. Working against this man-to-man. -man. That one almost gets picked off by Bruno and, and it gets tapped out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Cougars. 17 on the shot clock. And we got a reversal on the, uh, on the call here. Referee, uh, referee Dwyer saw it a little bit differently, so uh, he went over and Back to his partner, and the ball goes over to the Indians. There's Rimmelard inside. His shot gets altered from behind by Manor, and uh, last touch by uh, Cougar. So it's going to stay with the uh, stay with the Indians. Good defensive play there by uh, the senior. There's Rimmelard. That one gets blocked by Grimshaw, and uh, Armstrong comes away with the loose ball. Here's Bedard. Working against Holdridge. Nice dish out from Manor. He converts. Tom Bedard doing it all out there and uh, driving the ball well. Bruno gets a nice pass over for uh, Boyer, but uh, Bedard comes in from behind and he's going to get called for the hack. That'll put Brett Boyer on the line to shoot two. Four on Bedard. Doesn't look like. Uh, Coach Garen's going to go to the bench anytime soon here. Bedard's on a uh, little bit of a tear here. I think choose to keep him right in there until the bitter end. Boyer misses the first one. He's uh, missed quite a few from the charity stripe here. And that ball is nice play by Holdridge. Here's Bruno. He can make him pay on that one. That was too strong. Boyer with an offensive rebound, and he rattles one home. First points in the second half for Brett Boyer after a seven point. Uh, Here's Grimshaw. He's got it. Armstrong. 
Excuse that. We'll sneeze out most here. But fortunately, nothing exciting happened, and uh, Remillard was looking the wrong way on that entry pass. But that turnover will give it, give the ball back to the Cougars. A Ten point lead with 3:20 to play here in the fourth quarter. Grimshaw. Cougars would be wise to use up that shot clock at this point and the 10 point lead. Here's Grimshaw. He gets that shot altered. Remillard comes down with the loose ball. Grimshaw swats it away, but uh, Casey tracks me down. Here's Bruno with it. He lobs one inside. Nice pass inside for Boyer. Boyer can't finish and the ball scoops around. Boyer comes back with it. Only just blocked from behind. Tavernier's. They're scrambling around for it. Armstrong comes away with a loose ball. And Tavernier's going to get called for the travel. Before he goes down. Bruno gets the ball in. Here's Holdridge. Over for number 14 is Ben Chen, who's checked into the contest. That one gets knocked away, and Armstrong will come away with it. So, once again, the Cougars will see what they can do about slowing things down here. Here's Grimshaw with it. Ken working against him. Grimshaw's double team, gives it over for Bedard. Bedard to inside for Tavernier. Tavernier gets his shot blocked. Grimshaw comes away with that one and knocks it down. Rodney Grimshaw with a nice mid-range little short jumper there. Give him six points. Push the Cougar lead up to 12. With uh, just under two minutes to play. And we get a timeout on the floor. So with 1.57 on the clock. Cougars with a 12-point lead. 43-31. Cougars will inbound. Grimshaw beats the press. Drives one in and knocks it down. Eight points for Rodney Grimshaw. Six of them coming here in the second half. And uh, he's played some great defense for the uh, youngster. Inside for Boyer. Boyer turns one and turns one in. 11 points for Boyer. Here's Grimshaw again. Takes it to the right. Drops it in and draws the foul. So the Cougars able to break that press and uh, get it up to the speedy little uh, young Rodney Grimshaw. And uh, he takes that one to the rack and draws the foul. So he'll be at the line to, uh, if he can't finish the uh, three-point play, Cougars have uh, pushed that lead up to 14 here and a minute and a half to go. Austin Detro checks into the contest and Harley Tavernier will sit. Grimshaw finishes the three-point play. Nine points for the youngster, and we got another timeout on the floor. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> out of the timeout, a minute and a half to play. Cougars with a 14-point lead. The Indians with the ball here. See what they can do. Get inside for Remillard. Back off of Casey. It's inside. Here's uh, Bruno. He drives the lane and draws the foul. And that'll be four on Mike Manor.
Curto knocks down the first. Casey checks back into the contest for the Indians. Bruno's second foul shot's a little bit too long, and Boyer's going to get called with the foul <coughs> on the rebound. So that'll be uh, just five team fouls on the Indians. So the Cougars are inbound, and once again against that pressure, and had a whole lot of problem breaking it. And that's up for Petro. Petro's going to pull it out. Uh, Kevin Souza has checked into the contest for the Cougars. Here's Souza with it. Gets it in from Manor. Manor wrestles it away from Boyer. Boyer blocks it from behind, but it will stay with the Cougars. 18 seconds on the shot clock. 57.7 on the game clock. And we got a timeout on the floor. Cougars unable to get that ball in with the yeah, for Kevin Sousa on it. 57.7 on the clock. Cougars with a 14 point lead. All right, Cougars will inbound. It's time to get the ball in. He's just stuck in the corner. We go for Armstrong. Armstrong dribbles it back out. And that's shot clock violation there, so Cougars will turn the ball over. We go over to the Indians. The Indians, whether they uh, opportunity here, not much time on the clock. They're going to have to see what they can do about knocking down some trees. Aldridge gets the rebound, puts the shot back up. That doesn't hit anything. Goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the uh, Indians. So they'll get another opportunity here. Shot clock should be off. We got uh, 29.7 seconds on the uh, game clock, and that shot goes up. Doesn't hit anything. Remillard with the offensive rebound, and we got a foul on the play, and that's going to be up for Mike Manor. Well, with 25 seconds on the clock, Manor fouls out. And he'll be replaced by uh, Alex Davison. Well, with 14 point lead with 25 seconds to go, I think it's a pretty comfortable lead. Manor gets a nice, well deserved hand as he goes off with uh, eight points and a ton of rebounds. Remillard, this is the first of the uh, free throws. And Remillard's had a uh, pretty decent night, 13 points. That was a little bit too strong. Ball's on the ground. Little Bruno comes away with it and skips it over for Casey. Casey in the corner for Holdridge. Holdridge looking for some room. There's Boyer. And that one gets a foul. Well, Boyer will be at the line to shoot too, just kind of prolonging the agony here. 13.8 seconds to go, I'm not sure what that one was all about. But anyway, Brett Boyer once again misses one from the foul line. And he's got a future playing for Syracuse University shooting foul shots like that. And that one misses. Holdridge comes down with the offensive rebound. That one gets blocked by... Uh, Bernard, long pass up for Tetro. Tetro puts one high off the glass and won't fall. Bruno comes away with it. We're down in the final seconds. He chucks up a three and off the iron with the buzzer. So that's the way it was here from beautiful downtown Champlain, Northeastern Britain Central School. The uh, final score was so much to so little, and that's the way it was. We thank you for watching. Hometown Cable, television worth your